Hi there. My name is Amy Pogue, and I'm going to be reading some poems that I thought would be interesting to share that are all on the theme of poems. I'm not used to talking into a mic. Is this? I don't know if it's doing anything. Huh? Lift it up. Raise it up. Okay, so I can tell that it's doing something now. <laughs> My first poem that I'd like to share is called Holding Pattern, Family Vacation, Motel Room. My sister can awaken in an expanse she understands. I kick at the sheets she will miss love even momentarily. In the next bed, my father is easily landscape. He is not afraid, as I am, that my love does not move me enough. He is carried into deep, even breathing. He can fall away from wakefulness in a space he doesn't understand. Would I know love if it looked like a painting of stampeding horses above a silent television? I disappoint myself. I need words solid as proof to ferry me anywhere else, or four walls and a ceiling to adore. The next piece I'd like to share is called Reunion, and it's about the idea of the body as home. We are grown-ups. We would never betray our longing for this swim. Yet we have arrived this time as children who wondered all day about what would, bring what would bring relief and what they were seeking relief from. Next time we won't be on vacation. We can't betray these children who guard their wishes. You, unlock the car door. I'll let us out of the back seat. We might not ever get our way again. We mustn't slip on the deck. We mustn't skip the part where we wonder what lights the pool from the inside. Tell me again what happens, what happened. How these children we are stopped feeling worthy. This pool, this, I'm sorry, the pool is more familiar than these thoughts. This is your body made of water and now you float. The pool, the pool is stranger than we thought because it steadies us with its invitation. Be relieved, be unexpectedly relieved. My next piece is also about the idea of the body as home. It's called Cellular Respiration Writ Large on Hands, A Conversation. And it's about a dream I had where I had stomata all over my hands, which are <laughs> the holes that plants breathe through. Now visible on every surface of your hands, holes. These openings, known to botanists as stomata, allow plants respiration. As plants respire, your hands have always breathed, will always breathe, breathe. Nothing will pass through each hole but the sustenance of your life. You won't lose a breath inside your hands. Breath being trustworthy holds fast, true. You are held, hold. I am neither a plant nor a botanist. Moreover, in my universe, plants do not look like this. I must not breathe illogically. In a multiverse, your eyes may become momentary microscopes, only looking closely at stomata, only on your hands. All will be revealed throughout space and time without the usual lenses, slides, mind. This ordeal should not be revealed in plain sight. Breathing is very personal. I wanted to keep the support of my life a secret from myself. You'll never see your lungs. My life could just appear and ruin everything. You've been handed over to breath. It's ridiculous to know. I know and still have lungs. I cannot hold a breath. My life could just appear. The last piece I'd like to share is called Throwing Myself a Surprise Party. <laughs> um, it was inspired by a student I worked with, um, a sixth grade student who told me I should do that for myself. <laughs> the second I open the door to enter my home is the self same second that I jump up from behind the couch to be the face of welcome, <coughs> surprise. If I was keeping a secret from myself, of myself, in this instant, I can't remember. <laughs> Knowing that I am both embraced and embracing, this is the party being thrown. The offering of gifts, hesitating at the sight of gifts. Is this? This is the gift. <laughs> Thank you.